everyone, so as you know from the title of this video today, I'm going to be reviewing and swatching all of the Melted by Too Faced lipsticks that I own. I own about 14 of them and I believe there's still like 4 or 5 that I don't own. But I've been wanting to do this video for ages so I wanted to stop putting it off because they seem to release new colours quite frequently. I really love these. They're kind of like a liquid lipstick formula. They're really cool because they do last on your lips for a really long time I find. They don't really bleed. They just stay put. They're super, super, super pigmented. And they all leave a kind of gloss finish, but they're not super, super, super glossy. On their website, they say that they're like uber glossy, but I don't reckon they are. I think they're more of like a satiny finish, most of them. The applicator is a little sponge tip, which is shaped really nicely to be able to like apply it quite accurately. However, I feel like the darker shades do benefit from using a little bit of a lip brush as well. Just because it's like a little sponge, it can kind of go everywhere. So when it's a darker color, it's a lot more obvious that you don't have a really crisp line. But the nudes and the pinks and everything, I just apply them straight from the tube and it's fine. This one that I'm wearing now is called Melted Sugar. And I love this shade when I don't have as much fake tan on as I do right now. I'll link a video I did down below using this on my lips where I had like no fake tan on. You can see how beautiful it is. If you love that super, super nude lip look, you will like it. For my personal taste, I feel like I'm a little bit too tan for it at the moment. If you love this look, then go you. That's totally up to you. This is just my personal preference. They feel super smooth and they don't have any stickiness whatsoever. They just feel very creamy on your lips. They're not drying. I really, really like the formula. This next shade is called Melted Nude. And by the way, if you're wondering why my lips are like stained red, I was wearing a red lipstick earlier and I can't get it off my lips. I used like a makeup wipe and everything and it just would not come off. I just don't want to use oil because I don't want to mess up the rest of my makeup. Okay, so yeah, this is Melted Nude. So that is Melted Nude on my lips now. It's a little bit darker, well, a lot darker than that last one. This is a great nude for so many different skin tones, especially people of my complexion or darker. It'll look so good on you. And if you're paler, it'll look really good as well. It'll look kind of like deeper nude color on you. It's almost got slightly beige-ish undertones to it, like beige orange undertones. I think this color looks amazing with bronze skin and like bronzy eyes and everything. Next up, we have Melted Peony. So that's what that colour there looks like. It's a little bit more muted. Such a beautiful everyday pink. I really like the colour combo going on right here. Sorry if I'm like squinting when I look up at the camera as well. It's so bright outside. My eyes are like fizzing. Next up we have Melted Frosting, which is another pink. That's what that one looks like. Super crazy. It's so bright, so neon. This is probably one of the ones that I don't like as much on my complexion. I just feel like it looks so out there. It almost gives you that kind of Nicki Minaj effect, like super, super bright, bright, bright neon lips. Depending on who you are, you might love it and you might hate it. So that's what that one looks like. Next up is Melted Marshmallow, which is another pink. This one again is quite out there but I definitely prefer this one it's not as neon so it's a little bit more wearable it's still definitely quite a bright baby pink so if you don't like bright ish lip colors it probably won't be for you it's not toned down at all like it's still quite out there next I'm going to swatch melted coral which is a coral color if you couldn't guess On the scale of corals to oranges, I would definitely say it's further over to the orange side, to be honest. Again, it's quite out there. It's not a very subtle colour. It is quite bright and neon. I definitely think it's more wearable than some of the other colours, just because the orange is a little bit darker. It's not like a light colour that's also neon. Oh my gosh, this would look amazing on people with like a hardcore tan, darker skin tones. Holy crap, it would look so good. Actually, I do think most skin tones could pull this off. I can imagine people even paler than me really pulling it off as well. So long as you like a good, bold, bright lip, you'll be sweet. Next, I'm going to swatch Melted Fig, and I actually really, really love this one. It's a darkish kind of purple. It's a little bit darker, I think, than what you would see in the tube, like the color of the tube. So that is Melted Fig on my lips now. Love this shade. It would look so good on so many different skin tones. It is a lot more subtle than some of the other shades just because it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit more toned down. It's not neon or bright. It's just a bold lip. Definitely something I would rock. Like I can imagine this color with 
like a grey t-shirt or like a grey top and like a cute like black maxi skirt or something I feel like that's just like outfit perfection <laughs> this kind of purple lip with anything grey anything white anything black so good next I'm going to swatch the other purplish shade and it's called melted violet As you can see, this colour here is more for those of you who like a bright purple. Compared to the last one, it's a lot less bold. Well, it's still bold, but it's a lot more like bright and neon rather than bold. Such a cool colour, but it does make my teeth look a little bit yellow. I just can't get over how fun this colour is though. Like if you love a good purple, it is such a cool shade. It actually looks really, really retro. Like that's how I would describe it. It's like a retro purple. Next up, I'm going in with Melted Fuchsia. I haven't actually used this one before. This one's new. Oh my gosh. That was quite easily the worst application of the day, but this color is amazing. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite. It is exactly what it says. It's a bright fuchsia. And the rest are all like berry and red and dark pinks. So this first one here is called Melted Candy. That was actually a really good application that time. Um, so this one is a little bit less intense than the fuchsia. It's a little bit more pink. It actually looks stunning with this eye makeup right now. It's quite bright, but not bright. Like it's, it's really bizarre. Like it's really, really neon, except it's dark. So it doesn't look as out there. Next we have Melted Strawberry. So this is Melted Strawberry. It is just a really beautiful bright red. It's very simple. If you like a good red, then it's a good red. I feel like most people would already own this kind of colour in their collection, but if you don't, the formula is really lovely. As I said near the beginning of the video, I would recommend using some kind of lip pencil or lip brush just to get a more precise line because the applicator isn't like perfect for getting a perfect line. I mean, it looks decent. You could definitely get away with it, but if you're looking for like that perfect pout, definitely look into that. Next up is Melted Ruby. This one's just a slightly darker red. So there is Melted Ruby, such a beautiful dark red. I love a good dark red. I just feel like if you need to look sexy for any reason at all, dark red looks are where it's at. Next is Melted Berry, and this is just a really dark berry color. There it is, it's just a really dark, you know, like berry, boysenberry, raspberry, I don't know. And then the last one I own is Melted Violet, and I haven't used this one either. Ooh, it looks super dark. Okay, this is like ultimate dark red. You can see the color, it's just a really, really dark vampy red. It's almost, get out of my mouth. It's almost like a rusty looking red. Does that even make sense? I don't know. It's really cool though. I don't know if I own anything else like this. I probably do, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I love dark reds. I'm definitely going to use that more often. Super beautiful. So that is all of the lip colours I own. If you guys have tried these, feel free to write down below what your opinions are on them. Do you love them? Do you hate them? What's your favourite colour? And to the rest of you, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please thumbs up, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye! It sucks. Look at that. Ugh. Makeup lovers, cry with me, please. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is absolutely destroyed. And it's like an ombre blush too, so I can't really smack it together again. I don't even know what to do. So it looks nice and seamless. And by the way, I have no fake tan on, so I'm trying to kind of match my face to my body, which is kind of failing. My face is still a little bit dark for me, but just try to ignore that.